Hey everybody, well, as you can see I'm back. I just got back from Animago in Munich and it was an awesome 3D event. But more about that later in another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about a new pen display. Now, uh, if you're into 3D art, and especially if you're into digital sculpting, you either have one or are planning to get one, most likely, right? Now, I did videos about uh, these things in the past before, but never on anything like this guy. This is a Huon 22 inch, it's the 2019 model. And for me, it's basically a game changer. So I'm gonna go through the paces, I'm gonna tell you guys what it's all about, tech specs, show it in Photoshop, show it in ZBrush, and uh, it's up to you guys to see what you think, right? Here we go. Okay, everybody, so uh, as mentioned in the intro, what we're doing today is we're looking at the Canvas Pro 22, the 2019 model pen display, right, for digital artists, or in my case, 3D artists and photography work, right? Now, um, why is it so important to me to do this video? Well, a couple of reasons. First, I uh, did a couple of videos in the past uh, reviewing uh, pen displays, and these were typically way smaller than this one. And although they were great for Photoshop work and whatnot, when it comes to ZBrush, I really love the real estate, right? I couldn't really get things done on the smaller tablets. This guy is a much bigger one and it works like a charm, right? So that's pretty important to me. So that's one reason. The other reason is because of the pricing. Now, although I love uh, the name that I'm not gonna mention, you guys know what I'm talking about, it is so, so, so expensive. And I do not really understand why it has to be that expensive. So I'm definitely gonna compare this guy and see if it does everything it needs to do. And if so, you know, save a lot of money, right? Okay. All right, so let's dive in. Um, let's talk about the specs first, all right? Now, screen size, 1920 by 1080 resolution, which is, in my opinion, perfect. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, it uh, suits my needs. Uh, I don't need a 4K screen. I don't think that makes sense at all. This is perfect for everything I'm gonna be doing with it. So 21.5 inch uh, um, uh, panel size as far as a productive workspace, right? And then as we look at the color setup here, right? It's a 120% sRGB color gamut with 16.7 million colors. Now that's an upgrade compared to the previous model. Again, we're talking about the 2019 model. And for me, that 16.7 million colors is important for the simple fact that when I'm working for a client and I am dealing with a logo material or a house style and I need to match that color exactly, uh, I have the option to do so, right? If you get it off uh, and it's wrong and the client gets uh, upset, you know, it's never good, right? Okay, let's see what else. Um, the viewing angle, pretty important. Now, if you're sitting behind your screen, usually okay, but if somebody's looking while you're working and they're standing to your side and they can't see anything on the screen, that's kind of annoying, right? Now this guy supports 178 degrees of viewing angle. So with your to the left, to the right, you know, looking from the top down and whatnot, you should almost always have a perfect view. Okay, this is probably one of the most important changes compared to the last uh, version, and that is the uh, etched surface. It's made out of AG glass, and um, in the previous version, it was more like um, shiny or glossy or hard glass, if you know what I mean. This has uh, way more uh, like a paper feel to it, and also when you're working with a pen, it feels like that. So it's much more natural, to me it is anyway, and uh, it feels like you got a lot more contact with whatever you're doing. So yeah, that's that. And uh, also it protects your eyes, you know, from, you know, sheen and, and glare and that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see what else. Well, because of that, you also have less uh, parallax effect. So you got uh, the, the nib and the cursor, right, on your screen. Um, before it felt a little bit unnatural, like you didn't have a connection or a contact. Now it's like whatever you do, it follows along perfectly. So it's, uh, it feels better, right? Okay, uh, let's see what else. The pen, of course. Now, you got those models out there where they got a cable they need to stick into the pen to charge it, and then in the middle of your project, it's, it's run out of energy or power, you have to stick it back in, load it up again, or buy multiple pens or whatever. 
none of that here. This pen does not have to be charged in any way. It's always ready to go. Now, when it comes to the pen, big solid pen, good grip. It's not that flimsy, tiny, thin, uh, thin thing. It's a really solid and decent thing to do. Now it has uh, two buttons on it, so you can use the button on it, for example, to uh, you know program it as an alt switch or to change your brush size or stuff like that. And then of course the nibs can be replaced and the pen holder that comes with it has a bunch of extra nibs. And it also has that little clip thingy. If you need to replace a nib, you just grab it, pull it out and put another one in, right? So very easy peasy. Of course, uh, very important, uh, pressure sensitivity. 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity um, if you're working in 3d maybe not necessarily that important for me uh, in my photography work it definitely is especially when uh, coloring black and white photos or doing restoration work uh, and of course if you're a digital artist doing concept work and stuff like that it's very important it allows you to build up a very national uh, natural flow in your lines if you're into the cartoony uh, style, then that's a very helpful. All right, what else? Um, okay, when it comes to the pen response, now there are people out there that think that uh, if you don't get a, a pen tablet that's 2,800 bucks, then you're gonna have something that doesn't work right, right? Well, this guy right here has a 266 PPS report rate. Now, don't worry about the number. What it basically means is you move the pen and the cursor will follow you, right? And uh, nothing else, and that's how it should be. Uh, what about um, the pen tilt? Now, if you are doing shading work, let's say you're a concept artist, right? And you like to tilt your pen at an angle. There are a lot of pens out there and, and tablet systems out there will your pen will stop working. Now, this guy tilts to uh, 60 degrees roughly right now that means you got a pretty decent angle to work with if you want to do stuff like that and uh, because I do that on occasion I dabble with concept art it's uh, it's fun right now I mentioned the, the pen display it has the nibs inside and nib clip it comes with 10 spare nibs so you're not gonna run out anytime soon and then uh, let's see what's up what else the uh, the keys so um, the tablet has express keys and a touch bar now, uh, most do, right? And I try to program those on previous models that I have. And for some reason, I always had one hand on the keyboard, right? So you got one hand on the pen, one on the keyboard, but if you had to operate one of those buttons, you have to, you know, get your hand off the keyboard or off the pen or whatever. And it was annoying and, you know, just slowing down your productivity. Now, these guys can actually be programmed in a decent way. Uh, this is a slider in the middle. It's called a touch bar. And I use that for zooming. So you can literally just hold your hand on that thing and zoom in and out and you don't have to do anything else. And then the keys, you know, you can program them to be an alt key or an alt shift key or, you know, whatever you want, control Z key, control Z. So I don't even uh, involve my keyboard. Well, I would say hardly never in the, in the process, which makes it work way faster. Okay, so what about the tilt angle of the pen display itself? Now, um, some people like their screen almost vertical, some people like their screen almost flat. Well, this guy goes anywhere from uh, 20 degrees to about 80 degrees. So uh, it's uh, like an easy uh, stand that can be mounted. It's like a one hand operation. So if you want to change that, it's just a matter of seconds, no tools and anything like that. Okay, what about connectivity? Well, um, funny enough, there's a VGA port on this thing, right? Now, initially I wondered why, because I thought, well, that's kind of an outdated technology. But then again, I mean, these guys are not discriminating. What, what if you got like an older system, right? What if you still have VGA ports on your computer? Well, it works, right? And of course, beside that, they have a display port and an HDMI port. So you got, you know, choices, whatever you want to do. Now, then it has a power port, of course, and it has a USB port, okay? Let's see, uh, questions that I get, uh, does it run under Mac? Does it run under Windows? Yes, it does. It supports uh, software like uh, Photoshop, you know, uh, Adobe Illustrator, Painter, uh, GIMP, stuff like that. And I, always, uh, I also use it in uh, ZBrush and Photoshop so far, and it's been working like a charm, right? 
So enough about all the tech specs. Let's dive in and see how it functions in Photoshop and in ZBrush. Here we go. Okay, everybody. Well, needless to say that we're in Photoshop and uh, this is obviously not a Photoshop tutorial or anything like that, but just to show you guys how the pen responds on the pen display, right? So we've got a new canvas here and uh, I'm just going to pick uh, the black color right there and just see what we can do here. So I'm just going to do a couple of lines and uh, try to put some more pressure on it and put less pressure on it. And then, for example, uh, go in here and uh, use the zoom button, use the zoom slider to go back. Uh, let's do some scribble work there. Let's do some hatching. And yeah, I mean, what I'm going to say about it, it's responsive, it's fast. And, uh, you know, I can pick another color anything you basically do and if you compare this to a mouse I mean there's really no comparison it's super fast it's super responsive and it works right okay so let's uh, jump into ZBrush see how that pans out okay guys well we're in ZBrush as you can see and uh, I want to show you guys how responsive it is and actually how it just works quite well now, uh, this is one of the main reasons why I wanted this, uh, because I love working in ZBrush. I wouldn't say I'm great at it, but I do love it. And um, yeah, on smaller pen displays, it just didn't work out for me, right? I was still looking at my screen instead of the pen display. This thing, you know, 21.5 inches effective room to work on. Uh, it's just a, you know, a game changer. Now, uh, if I move my pen towards uh, the pen display, and I'm not even touching it right now, I'm just close to it, you'll see that it will respond quite well and fast if I want to move to a button or a menu or something like so, okay? Now, let's say I want to change my brush size. I'll just uh, click on the button on the pen, right? So I'll just uh, do this. Oop, yeah, there you go. Uh, I can make that bigger or smaller like this. I can do the same, obviously, for the focal shift. And when I'm ready to go, I'll just go in here and, you know, start working on this guy. Okay. For example, like that. Um, let's say I want to undo this. I'll just uh, hit the button on the pen display. Like boom, boom, boom. Quite easy. And I don't have to touch my keyboard or anything for that. Now, uh, let's say I want to do something smaller. We'll bring that size down. There you go. Maybe something like so. And it's super fast and super responsive. Okay. Now, I really don't know what else to say. I mean, this is obviously uh, not supposed to be a ZBrush tutorial. Uh, pen works fast, the buttons work well, and uh, yeah, that's it. So hopefully this guy will give you a good idea of what this uh, product can do. Um, and uh, yeah, I promise you guys a discount code, right? So uh, if you check out the description area, you got a bunch of links, uh, choose the one that fits your geography best and use the code and you will get a discount on this beauty, right? Well, that's it from me, guys. Please leave in the comments what you think and thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.